Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I was able to locate over $780,000 in missed social security benefits. Before we jump into today's video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell notifications so you're always notified whenever I'm posting new content. Um, if you enjoyed the video or you got something out of it, please give it a like. And if you had any questions about anything that I'm covering in the video, please leave a comment down below and I will reply as soon as possible. From 2018 to 2022, I worked for the Social Security Administration as a Title II um, claims specialist or adjudicator, whatever you want to whatever you want to call it. Uh, decision maker might be the easiest term to uh, to use. So basically, if you were to contact the Social Security office to file a claim for retirement benefits, survivors benefits disability benefits, auxiliary benefits, which would be like children or anything like that, I would be the person to take your claim and basically make the decision um, that the, in cases of disability, the non-medical decision on if you were eligible for those programs or not. Um, during that four years, I had a great teacher and I became um, very well versed in the program policies and how they operate and how they work and what the agency is uh, uh, supposed to do um, in certain situations and then what what would happen if they didn't follow their own protocols basically and so that's basically where social benefit advisors excels is we create that argument on your behalf. We know all the fine details of what should have been done, when it was supposed to be done, and what recourses you would have if it wasn't done properly. Um, so as mentioned before, uh, in that four year span in the, I live in the Charlotte area, um, Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, I was able to locate $780,000 in missed benefits um, and that was only from about 17 people. Um, since I started my company, I found a little more than that, almost another 10,000 uh, with one individual client. Um, but with that 780,000, that was with 17 people. That's an average of 55,000 a person. Um, but the single most, uh, the single biggest claimant, it was about 10 years worth of benefits in his case and it was about $170,000 that the administration paid him. Um, again, because there were certain things that the agency didn't do that they should have in notifying this individual, and um, I created a very valid argument based off of their policies as to why, um, why he should have been paid that money. Um, this person was elderly, and he wasn't even, he was in his, I think he was 76 at the time, he wasn't even on Medicare, he wasn't getting retirement benefits, and they were well aware of who he was, and um, they just didn't take the uh, proper actions to get this gentleman squared away, and it's unfortunate. And uh, I can only imagine, <clears throat> Charlotte is a growing area, but it is nowhere near uh, like a metropolitan, like a New York City, um, a Miami, uh, you know, Houston, it's, it's nothing of that magnitude yet, although it is growing pretty rapidly. Um, so to find those 17 different people where those opportunities were missed, um, <clears throat> is, is pretty alarming to how many could really be out there. And again, that's where social benefit advisors excels is we are ready to help anybody who um, suspects that they, they might have missed out on something with Social Security. Um, so who that would pertain to would be anybody who might be a widow, widowed twice, maybe you're a divorced widow, this is where you've been married to somebody for 10 years or more and you have divorced and that person has since passed away. Um, maybe you're a current spouse of somebody who's 62 or older um, if you're, uh, if you're somebody with a special needs child, um, those instances have come up and, and as part of that, uh, $780,000, um, amount that I found, um, 62 of that 
was for uh, somebody with a disabled child, um, again, who, who missed out on some benefits. Um, and, but happily, we were able to help her uh, and her family um, navigate through that process and make sure that, the, that a valid argument was presented for them based on the law of what should have been done and wasn't. Um, so if you or maybe you, somebody that you know kind of fits into this category of, again, if you're of retirement age, you're, you're survived, maybe a spouse, maybe multiple spouses, um, maybe you're currently married and uh, either you're older or younger and have a spouse that hasn't yet filed, or uh, again, you have a special needs child, stepchildren, um, that are minors or, or maybe disabled, um, or maybe it's becoming more prominent is if you're a grandparent raising your grandkids, it would behoove you to contact us and, and really go over all of your options to make sure that you're filing in the appropriate manner. Um, in the case of the person who had the disabled child, not only, um, were we able to recover about $62,000 in missed benefits, but now she's receiving an unreduced benefit at a younger age and the family as a whole has a couple hundred dollars more um, coming in because of the way that we were able to file a claim for her. So if this sounds like you or anybody you know, please give us a call. Um, schedule an appointment at our website, which is www.socialbenefitadvisors.com. This, as you see on the screen now, this is uh, this is our website and uh, a blurb about uh, the service that I'm talking about, which is uh, previous claim analysis. This is where um, essentially I will be your representative, and I will request uh, any and all claims information um, about your case, or maybe your spouse's case, or even that divorce spouse situation. That's probably a big one. Um, a lot of people don't realize. Um, and I'll review it to look for any opportunity possible to help put you in the most advantageous position that you can be with Social Security benefits and to help you uh, maximize um, your claims and the monthly benefits that you get. As mentioned before, please subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell notifications. If you enjoyed the video or you got something out of it, give it a like because it does help push the channel out to other people who are looking into this kind of information. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I covered down uh, in the video, please leave a comment down below and I'll try and reply as soon as I can. Thank you so much. I hope that I'm able to help more people. The easiest way to think of Social Security is that they are just an insurance company. And like any other insurance company, you have to pay a premium. And the way that you pay for those premiums is through your taxes. So it is not a handout. You have paid into these programs. And if you were to get into a car accident, you would certainly file, you know, if somebody hits you with their car, you would certainly file a claim with the car insurance company. Um, you know, if you got hurt or you go to the dentist or you go to your doctor, you file a claim with them if you have medical insurance. So why would you not do that with Social Security? Um, if you worked those 40, 50, sometimes 60 years or more, uh, you really want to get the most out of it that you can. And I am here. We are here to help you do that. So again, thank you for watching the video um, and stay, uh, stay tuned for more content.